Hi, today I'm making a cilantro soup. My oils are 107 Fahrenheit, that's 42 Celsius. This is the lye water and it has cilantro on it. It's at 25 or 78 Fahrenheit, that's room temperature. I actually, I still need to blend the cilantro some more and then I'm going to pass it through a colander. The fragrance is citrus cilantro. And I'll be using this um, soap scraps. I didn't measure how much cilantro I'm using. I just know that I grab a few sprigs and I tried to blend them first with water, but that didn't seem to work. So I looked up in a Facebook group and somebody had suggested adding the cilantro straight to the light water. So that's what I'm doing. But of course I'm blending it because big chunks of vegetable in the soap can become moldy over time. And I'm adding it primarily to add a green color to the soap. I want to see if it works on that. I may have needed to use more than I did. I also thought that adding cilantro will go well with the fragrance which is called cilantro lime. And just in case you're curious, it does not smell much like cilantro to me. It does have a citrus smell, almost like lime, but I, I cannot detect any cilantro smell to it. Interestingly enough, I have learned that some people dislike cilantro very much, like they pretty much hate it because to them, cilantro tastes like soap. And this has to do with a genetic trait. It's not really um, a preference. I mean, sometimes it may be a preference, but when people feel that cilantro tastes like soap, it is because there is a gene in their bodies that's different than the rest of us. And I'm going to put a link in the description box or in the blog post in case you're curious to read more about that. And now I'm going to give it a quick burst with the stick blender and start blending the oils and the light water solution so that it becomes um, emulsified. And then I'm going to add the fragrance and for this amount of oils I need about 1.4 ounces and after adding it I continue with the stick blending until it reaches trays. So these are the molds I'll be using. Okay, it is not a light trace. I'm gonna go ahead and add the scraps. Since it's citrus cilantro, I chose only, I tried to choose only green and yellow scraps, which reminds me of lemon and lime or pineapple too. So I figured this would be like a good, um, drink or beverage so I'm gonna try to make this soap to look like that like a fruit beverage I did not add, add sodium lactate to this perhaps I should have maybe it's not too late and it actually it was too late because I don't think it gets distributed properly when it's added after the fact at least for me it didn't work because the soap was still sticking to the liner even after a couple days of staying in the mold. Now this mold and liner usually holds about one pound of soap so I did have some leftover which I poured into a cavity mold that I had nearby. I had cut some cubes of clear melting pour. It's actually crystal clear melting pour from Crafter's Choice. And this is to simulate ice cubes since I'm going with um, like a summer drink theme here. And later I'm also going to add some soap dough leaves to simulate the maybe cilantro leaves. Although they don't quite look like that, but just to give it the idea. Last minute, I also decided to use some orange slices that I had done with Sopto. And I covered it with a box in a blanket to make sure that it went through gel face. Mm, 
this is what it looks like on the inside. And there we go. I'm gonna take pictures to see how, if they change color. Um, and then I'll show you those next.